Look at me looking taller than me. So because I'm behind you a couple of feet, or mm -hmm. no? that's not Hello, fair. can you guys hear and see us? Oh, Each is that's a man. Yeah. What are they saying on there? Yes. All right. All right. How's everyone doing? So, uh, type type how excited you are for the free track to give away. <laughs> Holy cow! There's a lot of people saying. Look stuff. at this, Cole. On your computer, I'm on the left side of you, and on this one, I'm on the right side of you. That's interesting. And also, I noticed that when you messed with my computer, now I can't see the comments anymore. Yeah, you're... Oh. Okay, so... Can you is, make them bigger so I can see them? Is the audio decent? Do I need to talk louder? Do I need to just shut up and let Dad talk, or what's the deal? The comments are going so fast. Yeah, I can't read none of that. Mine, mine aren't. But I can't read them because it's fuzzy. Is is everybody else's print fuzzy on their computer? <laughs> hey, Frankie Dickinson, thank you for the five dollars. All the way from Florida. That would be a long drive. You know, a five dollar bill in Florida is worth six dollars here. I don't think that's true. Oh, have you ever been to a McDonald's there compared to prices here? Uh -huh. It is true. I bet you in Vegas that would be very true. Be the other way. Five dollars here would be worth. Oh, well, that would be the same way. Mm. Yeah. It says some people say Dad could speak up a little bit, so I've been telling him. I've been telling him, but he just he doesn't listen to me. All right, so uh, we're just gonna kind of talk some nonsense for a couple minutes here. Wait for you know people to come in and hopefully uh hopefully the person that won is present eddie thank you for the super chat uh, mine isn't going fast like yours i don't know um yeah so just talking a little bit about the tractor mike michael and zach thank you it's a 544 international tractor uh Kyler, thank you. It's it's gas. You know anything else about it? What what are the hours on that thing? Oh. I never even looked at the hours. Oh, I, you never believe those things because oh. those things don't work that great. It's not in pristine condition. You will possibly have issues with it. Yeah, we're actually road. just trying to get rid of it as soon as possible <laughs> before it just falls. Apart. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, someone asked how my camera's doing after it went through that auger. Actually, that's a – it's crazy story. So we were doing beans, and I set the camera up in the grain tank – or the uh, grain cart. area sure, just like Cole. Oh, yeah. And when I hopped back up there to look at it or to grab it, it was just gone. And so, I was like, obviously it fell down in. I was hitting – that was a really bumpy field. And so I was thinking, crap, and then every time we were unloading – Either Jeff or I were right there waiting for it, trying to trying to grab it when it come in and didn't when it was coming into the semi and hoping that it wouldn't get buried too quick for us to find it. Cade Walker, buddy, how you doing? Thank you for the two dollars. You know Cade? Yeah, I went to college with Cade. Oh, that's nice. I should I should tell some stories about Cade, you know, <laughs> in the wild times. I ever told you about the time Cade fell face first into you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe i'll take his dollar back dollar for hams Cade. oh my gosh i would like to go to the wild hair and get some some uh two dollar hams with you cr farming videos thank you mary miles thank you guys blake half hour from yankton that would be a short trip michael g thank you anyway i was i got distracted and so we actually found the mount for the camera it came out into the back of the semi and then we we couldn't find the camera at all jeff went to to the elevator and started dumping and all of a sudden it came out and you know the grates at the elevator they're not they're not very thin they got some space in there and it just landed perfectly to where it didn't fall through kind of wedged in the grates jt thank you 
And so, yeah, Jeff saw it and they grabbed it and th it had uh, actually I can go grab it here in a little bit if I if we wanted to. But it a couple screens were cracked. You could see in some of the video that it was a little uh, uh, the quality wasn't the best, but we saved saved the SD card. And so, you know, that's why you got to see that video. I was I was pretty bummed because I took video all that all that day. And I, I just I don't know. Your older brother, Robbie, commented. Where's mom? Where's mom? And that's part of the reason why I'm wearing this nice shirt and I cleaned up a little bit tonight because Tammy, come back home, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, uh, her sister, one of her sisters from quite a ways away came out this weekend and they went to help um, their mother do some rearranging and, and yeah, yeah, after the sale and everything. So Outdoor life, thank you. Since it was a three day Devlin. weekend. Williamson Ridge Outdoors, Southern on Ohio. Thank you, guys. How can we see where how many people are watching? Right there. Oh wow! Yeah, wow, that's a lot. You guys have been so good to us. We enjoy this so much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So today we actually didn't harvest corn. We're almost done with harvest here. We have one quarter of corn left, which is 160 acres. Yep. The ends are off it already, so it's a little less than that. Yep. It's actually the one that we had silage chopped on off of the uh, headlands. headlands. And so it's that's really nice hopping into there with, without having to do the head or the end rows, as some people call it. It just, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody just asked, go straight. who the hell's Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Bob? Outdoor Life and Richter Farms. Outdoor Life and Richter Farms. Thank you, guys. Congrats on the 100K. And if you're wondering, you know, we're, we're already at 101,000. And those 1,000 people didn't get, obviously, into the drawing because oh. it's 100,000 subscriber. It, it, it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair to you guys. So they are not in it. Any plans for more dart challenges? You know, that was a really fun one. Haven't thought about it. Um, I suppose if we get some free time, we're, well, pre we're getting pretty busy right we're now. We're both pretty competitive, so anytime we can uh, make work a an event, we like to do it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're saying there's a chance? That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gub Man, Scoob Man. He comments all the time. I thanks for guys. We really like the comments. It. Uh, Kind of nice after a long day to see how the video did and not only see how many views there were, but what you guys think of it. And uh, and most of it is very positive, and I appreciate that. Um, Cole, thank you. Milk cows, man, I don't know if I could. I like to sleep in a little bit, and you, you uh, dairy farmers, you amaze me. They're workers. Max How does it feel team. being the second best Dakota? Come on, man. Second best Dakota what? Dakota. He's from North Dakota. Oh. Well, the way I see it, we're the number one YouTuber in South Dakota, so we'll take that over living in North Dakota <laughs> any day. So. Yeah. Max, thank you. Robert, Tony, Lucas, thank you, guys. Uh, yeah. So like we were saying, we're almost done with corn harvest. We got, I think there's one more video that's going to be uploaded of bean harvest. And then we already have a few in the, uh, here's to a new slappy. Thank you, Craig. We already have a few of corn harvest that are made. And so actually we hit a hundred thousand a little faster than I expected. So the next few videos, they're going to mention like, Hey, we're getting close to a hundred thousand. And that's going to be confusing for you guys. So just know that they were made a, a little bit back. We're about we're about a week, week and a half behind just because there have been a lot of stuff going on with Harvest. So we've been making a lot of videos. Getting ready to start beans. Good luck to you. The beans are getting really dry, and now the corn is too. Uh, we've had a lot of wind and a lot of warmth and uh, – the ground's dry. Boy, the dust is flying today. Oh, huh? I I ate a lot of dust today. It was my ears. He put filled. some post holes in. Post hole, dug some post holes and put some railroad ties in. Mm -hmm. We were doing a little maintenance and just setting up our corral system. 
a little bit. And, Thank you, uh, AN3K. Tony, why don't you fill in Lake Sunny? Well, we did put in some crushed rock. Um, if I part build, of it, yeah, yeah. If I build it up too high and we get a rain and a wind out of the east, it'll actually run into the machine shed. So I like to have a slight flow to the east away from there. And so uh, we keep it a little bit low there. Uh, how many acres do you have? Uncle owns a 10,000 head feedlot. That is a lot of critters. How many acres do you have? You know, too much and not enough, depending on the year. That's all I got. That's all I got to say about that. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's go over a little bit of the rules from the video that was completely dedicated to the free tractor giveaway. I assume you haven't seen it. It, it only got like 34,000 views. I hate rules. And there's 100,000 of you, so obviously not everyone saw that video. But one thing I wanted to mention was in that video, I said we would deliver up to 250 miles. Obviously, it could be like easily 1,500 miles away. So uh, that, that makes it tough for some people. And so if, if the winner wants to meet us part way or something like that, or we could put it on auction if the winner wanted. It's your tractor. You can do what you want. We could put it on an auction. And whatever that comes to be, we'll just send you a check or some cash or something. And so that's if that's what the winner wants, we can we can do that. <laughs> the other thing is, is if uh, they would prefer we don't drive the 250 miles to meet them somewhere, if they want to come to the farm, uh, you know, spend a couple hours with it us and pick up the tractor, mm -hmm. that'd be all right too, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. Or we could pick a winner that's like two miles down the road. and Yeah, it's it's random, though. And, <laughs> yeah, put this towards a new camera. Thank you, Tough Ram. Tough Ram. <laughs> Just got a text that said, dude, there's 3,000 people watching. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I can't help it. Should we put a time on it when we're going to announce the winner? Maybe 8.20? 8.45. That's a while. Let's say 8.22 at exactly 8.22. <laughs> we'll about announce 8.30. 8.30? Yeah. We got... Okay. At 8.25, <laughs> we will announce the hi, winner. Hi, Argentina. Pick now. Patience. Who Patience won? is a virtue. Um, somebody mentioned uh, any new plans with merch. And so if you remember a while back, Dad and I were saying we had a shirt coming, which we did. We had plans for it. And then three months later, we found out they couldn't fit it on a shirt, on the shirt in the from the printer. And so, yeah, that wasn't working. So recently we... Talk to them, and right now, two easy things we're working on is a can koozie with the Sunny Farms logo on it, and also a uh, thanks, Kellen, a stocking cap because winter's coming and it's gonna be cold. So we're working on that. Those two new things um, that we're working on. So that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> How's harvest going? We're almost done. We flew through beans, and I would say they yielded, yield, yelled, yielded. Is that a word? Uh, slightly above average. It was it, it was a good bean harvest, and we were pretty happy with that. We had a lot of mid fifties. Mid fifties. Yeah. Yep. And so corn's been going well. I would say it's average or a little above average. We were hoping for a little bit. We're a little more hopeful. Well, um, here's what happened with that. When we're out combining in the good spots, the yields are very good. You know, 210, 220. The trouble is that three-inch rain we got in June, and we're in the, what do they call it, the prairie pothole region. Mm -hmm. And so when those low spots get drowned out in a dry year, they're your best, your best yielding areas, and they're dead. So 
We don't, yeah, so we don't get those bushels. You know, just a few zeros really hurts you. Thank you, Mary, Scott, Mike, Scott. What time is it there? It is currently 8.15 p.m. Where is Jeff? Need more Jeff. I agree. People loved Jeff. Yeah. I uh, Jeff is probably sitting at home. Jeff, are you here? Comment if you're watching. Hey, Todd Levitt said, what's up, brain? <laughs> don't feel bad i shouldn't even brought that up but <laughs> it reminds me you, did i ever tell you about the time when i was in grade school at a little country school and every uh every valentine's day you'd send each other a little stick of gum and you know on a valentine and doggone it i bet over half of the kids in that school it is south dakota education but everybody called me brain it seemed like thanks thanks dave there's your Brian's story for the night. You got any people? I mean, if we just changed the channel's name to Brian's stories, we'd probably get a lot more subs. What am I going to do when I run out of stories? You can run out of Jennifer Sonny. That is Jeff's wife. They said, yes, we're watching. <laughs> See, Jeff's on, guys. Jeff and Jennifer. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to be like Jeff. Well, that's a tough act to follow. He's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Thank you, William. Someone says buy an X9. Um, we need to sell a lot of land just to, <laughs> just to pay for that thing. Sell everything we have, and then we can sit here and look at our X9. Someone says any more Claudia videos coming. Um, not anything planned. I would assume that after a while she'd get sick of her uh, college life and want to head back to some to the farm and – it's cl it's a lot closer than New York, so. I did notice on her video of you, it said part one, so I'm wondering if there's going to be a part two or not. Yeah, there is. Well, when? My buddy Cade says, do not tell college stories. I got to I gotta <laughs> think of one. So you have a girlfriend? He's probably protecting mm -hmm. himself. Yeah. Thank you, T&B Farming. Josh Mosier. How you doing, buddy? Oh. Is that the Jess Mosier we know? Yeah, from uh, Corsica Stickney. Uh, Stickney. Yeah. 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 Todd Levitt, what's up, Brian, he says. Oh, man. Uh, nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Woonsocket, Carrie Fry says. I went to high school in Woonsocket. Okay, so we're seven minutes away from <laughs> announcing the winner of the free tractor giveaway. We're getting there, guys. And gals. Man, the thing is scrolling so fast. I know. Brian is my dad's name. How is your dog? Ellie's great. Ellie is currently in the garage. She's just probably laying there doing nothing. What do you guys think of our little, when the video's over and we do that little after thing, is that unique to uh, other people's channels? I, or? I try to make, we try to make that funny. Any deer hunting videos coming? So deer hunting for us starts third weekend of – no, that's voting. Or is it also deer hunting right third weekend there. of November? It's usually like the week before Thanksgiving or something. Um, and so we will – I plan to make a video for that maybe – yeah, probably just one. Um, and, you know, we the numbers around here are decent for deer. We, we hunt whitetail, by the way. And uh, they're for some reason they're not the biggest. They just don't get to be too big around here. It seems like at least personally, when I go hunting, I don't see a uh, very, very uh, big deer. But most years we do get one, and my brothers and I actually process them together. And it's just kind of you know everyone likes jerky and some nice uh, tenderloin. So um, also. My mom's currently watching. She's hanging out. She's with her sister and my grandma. And I just got to gotta thank my grandma because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have this channel. And that's for a number of reasons. And grandma, if you're watching, we only have one field left. So can you drive out here tomorrow and run the grain cart so we can get <laughs> you on a video? Yeah, my, my grandma has been driving grain cart all up until last year. Or maybe this this year is the first year. year she didn't. Yeah. So she could. She can still do it if she hurries. <laughs> Does a flappy come with the tractor? 
No, no, we got to keep those. Those are pretty near and uh, near. Flappy might be the. Um, I mean, when we hit two hundred and fifty thousand subs, I would give away any Slappy except half Slappy. Yeah, and so many of you may at the end of the night think, oh, "Well, I didn't win, so I might as well unsubscribe." Mm. We may or may not be doing a two hundred fifty thousand something giveaway. So, so stay tuned for that. We haven't decided yet. Tony, shout out from York, Pennsylvania, Peninsula. It's hard to read when that stuff's moving so fast. South Australia. Oh, that's a long ways away. Rod Bourne <laughs> says half slap pieces hero. Mine too, Rod. You know, <clears throat> when your rotator cuff's about ready to fly apart and those big old slappies are waving in the wind, that half slappy can still make a lot of noise and it doesn't hurt near as much, so... I think we should start marketing half slappies because to me, all that extra fabric is just money wasted. Mm, I see. So they should send two sticks out with every full flag, and then you cut it down and make two half slappies. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. What do you guys think? Two half or half slappies instead of full slappies? <laughs> I'm waiting for the comments. All right. Oh my gosh, it's going faster than ever. <sighs> you got anything else to talk about? We're four minutes away <laughs> from the announcement of the free track to give away. Let's just answer some questions. Thanks for hanging with us. I really appreciate it. What's a slappy? What's a slappy? Set? Should I go get one? No. Yeah. So it's it's a stick with a flag, and we just use it to sort cattle. And when you slap it, it makes a loud noise. It kind of makes the cattle move. Instead of hitting them with a stick or something, you just make the flag make a little noise and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's a lot less uh, it, we don't beat them with it you know? yeah. i mean we don't yeah well you know they they react to uh noises and so mm -hmm. it just it's a nice it i you know it, you can take a break on your uh, voice your voice box as they say you don't have to yell as much you can just flap that and it makes that noise and sophie says shut up Cade that's my, that's another college friend of mine uh, Sophie who let you in here <laughs> uh, cattle prod you know in the videos you can see a cattle prod somewhat often and I do want to say that I mean number one obviously it inflicts a little bit of pain and I've been shocked with one I, I've shocked myself accidentally a couple times don't ask me how but when I poke one with the cattle prod, I'm, I'm usually not even holding the trigger, so it's not shocking. And just that feeling, you know, it's kind of, kind of, I wouldn't say Two sharp, little points. but it, it, it gets them to move just without uh, um, hitting the shock. It's so. a last resort for mm -hmm. us. It really is. Mm -hmm. We've actually had times where maybe something decided to lay down in the alley. and Which is dangerous yeah, for itself. They, the, the next one's going to jump over it, step on it and everything, so... There's times when we use it, but we try not to it as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Do we ever brand? Yes. Um, I have a registered brand. Um, you know, since we're a purebred Angus herd and we uh, tattoo in both ears, I don't always – brand everything because um i i mean if if there's a question i have a tattoo in the ear if their tag falls out but. and there's some places like i'm pretty sure wyoming and on Even reservation west west, west west river west river yeah South Dakota. It's, it's the law to have your cattle branded because they're kind of on bigger pastures and they, if they get away from you then it's really hard to figure out um whose cattle is whose so we in in our area we don't have to brand and we usually don't just because it doesn't help us that much and obviously you know that doesn't feel the best so if we don't have to do it then we don't and we are one minute away from announcing the winner um, Denise Denise your favorite, favorite aunt from Wyoming You're that not, is not correct my aunt. she is not my aunt that is correct you She's are my, my favorite aunt that lives in Wyoming. <laughs> I have no other aunts in Wyoming. 
the latest we've ever um, harvested. We've been pretty close to Christmas. I know one year we had a lot of mud, and then we got a lot of snow on top of the mud, and it just didn't work very good. So what's Robbie saying? I, I guess I do, have, I do have another aunt from my own. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Anyway, uh, boy, we've had late harvest, early harvest. Rough harvest. We've had down corn. We've had hailed on corn. We've had wind snapped. And sometimes just the root is leaning clear over. The tap root gives out. Uh, kind of seen just about everything. Kind of prefer this year's crop over all of that. Um, feel for those guys. I was watching a couple videos the other day. Guys trying to do down corn with a corn reel. And it's just a slow process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if the corn is leaning a certain way, sometimes it's easier just to go and combine it one direction, come back empty and do it again because it's so slow going back the other way and you have so much trouble. Just do what's easier. Okay. Uh, it seems like we have come to the time where oh. we need to announce. My one says 826. Yeah, I said 825. Oh, it's past time. Also, Joy Filters, thank you. You comment a lot, and I appreciate it. Okay, so who won? It's getting exciting, guys. It's getting exciting. So I just want to say one more thing. Reiterate, we will deliver up to 250 miles. If you want, we can meet you at a specific location, whatever. Uh, if you want, we can sell it on an auction, and we'll just send you the money. Yep, about that. I've got a couple friends that are auctioneers local, and about every other month they have a consignment auction, and we can talk to them. We can put it on there, and that would actually be kind of fun. I mean, the the earnings go to the winner, but we it could. would give you guys all an opportunity to bid on the tractor and buy it if you want. Yeah, we could put that uh, link in the description, and you could bid on the tractor. But if it's you entirely it. up to the winner. Mm-hmm. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. I got to remember it. Oh, yeah. If the person that has won is not here, they'd still win, but they have one month to um, accept or reach back out to us. It's October 11th. So let's say November 11th. If the person has not reached out to us, we're going to do another live, I suppose. So that'd be 11 11. Yeah. And so. I'm so going to right after this again, another winner if they don't. Oh. Yep. We'll have to do another random pick and Garrett can't me says, pick me, please. It's already chosen, man. And it was it random. Is? I'm sorry, but is this called the corn star? Hell no, it is not. It is not. We're getting there. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I'm trying to keep interrupting <laughs> I'm doing me. it on purpose. Uh, I can't think right now. Oh, um, Oh yeah, one month. We're gonna put. I'm right after this. I'm gonna put it on the community page who the winner was. If they're not here, honestly, I have not seen them comment because, like I said, Captain, Morgan. we're already at. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. All right, the winner is. You guys excited? Because I'm excited. The winner is Pam Doddridge. That looks backwards. That's not gonna help. Pam Doddridge is the winner. And so I hope I hope Pam is here. But try, otherwise try putting it up backwards. Is that do like it? this? Yeah. There. Oh. Uh, see? Pam Doddridge. You are the winner. I know stuff. Cade says, ha ha ha, you misspelled Pam or Cade. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Congratulations, Pam. Um Oh, look at all these nice people congratulating Pam. <laughs> Someone just exclaimed the F word. I oh. feel you, buddy. I feel you. So, uh, uh, Pam, if you are here. Ed Goslin says that's not how you spell my name. <laughs> if you are here, please find my email. If you go into the About page on my YouTube channel, my email will be at the bottom. So send me an email. <laughs> feel saying some funny stuff. There's just You guys are a riot. <laughs> just exclaiming some <laughs> bad words i'm so sorry i don't see any of that online i can see it online 
a pure spin. <laughs> 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 oh wow! Oh, you guys are so just oh well, crap says one fella. <laughs> Next runner up gets a bag of Dakota gold. <laughs> oh nice! Oh my! Anyway, gosh. Tammy, come home. I miss you. <laughs> come on, brain. <laughs> So now what do we do? Now what do we do? Well, I'm going to hope Pam sees this. Otherwise, November 11th, we're going live if Pam doesn't hit us up. And we will do this all again. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yep. It seems so as though... Do you guys think if uh, Pam decides to just sell it and take the money, does anybody want to try buying it? Probably say, hell no, I don't want it for free. Next giveaway at Combine. <laughs> I'll buy it, that guy says, but the screen went too fast. Mm -hmm. Pam said, give it to me, Joy Filter says. Some guy says I'm married. Pam. I don't know. Uh, Actually, I hear I she did, has a nice tractor. So I did look. Pam is from Washington State, and so it is quite a ways away. I would assume... She is not going to drive probably 800 miles. Oh, I don't know. Some people said they'd drive the tractor back all the way to the East Coast. So Someone said hydraulics? Yeah, it's got a hydraulic three-point, and it's got like four sets. Well, it's got the hydraulics for the well, loader. So there's one set of hydraulics on the back of the tractor, but then you can route it through that valve up on top, and that was for a loader. But you could actually do three or four functions on that valve up by, you know, instead of using. <laughs> this guy says I'm married to Pam. She says, okay, to send it to me. <laughs> someone, okay. Someone said I found Pam in my cupboard. Uh, that's the wrong Pam. <laughs> that's not Pam Doddridge. Next giveaway, Brian's shirt. Well, no, that would be unpleasant for everyone. Brian's underwear. Really? Do you make that up or did it say that? No, I made that up. No, that's not good. Okay. She's in the gov government FBI. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> well, I don't know where else to go with this. So Everybody's just in a... Pam is my drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so... Uh... Pam, Pam just got way hotter. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is funny. <laughs> Cole, you're cute. <laughs> Somebody's drinking. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got your beer goggles on? What about the Bush Light shirt? It's it's in the closet, Barry. Thank you for it. I do wear it. I do. Just hasn't hit on a video day. Hey, who won? You're a little late to the show. Pam Doddridge won. Right here. <laughs> the winner is... Pam is the new Karen. Pamela Doddridge. Pam, Pam is the Pam new Karen, won. it said. Mm -hmm. I got a... I got a neighbor that married a girl named Pam, and he was reciting his vows at the wedding, you know, or repeating them from the from the preacher, and uh, and the preacher said, "I take you, Pamela," and Gary said, "I take you, Pamela." <laughs> he was nervous, and then he stumbled with fidelity too. Mm -hmm. He said, "Fidel, fide fidelity." <laughs> it's tough, man. <laughs> How do you know? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> words, words are words are hard. Yeah, they are. No. Pam can't even drive a tractor. Oh, I don't know about that. We will teach Pam. <laughs> we will teach you, Pam. Ellie is good. Ellie's so good. Ellie's just a buddy, you know. She's just a friend. <laughs> My mom <laughs> let me know that they can see you guys can see it this way, and I don't have to turn it around. So I just wanted to do that one more time. Thanks, just Mom. Because, yeah. Just because I'm a, <laughs> you know, you know. Mom's just making sure that you don't have to show the sign from the back. We read it right when you showed it the normal way. Thanks, Period Mom. at the end. Yep. Like I mean it. Yep. Knock it off. Duh. 
Come home, Tammy. I'm not seeing Pam in the chat, so, you know. Uh, I hope she's not shopping for a tractor. You don't need another one. Yeah, You're Pam. Getting... You got a free tractor. Come on, you Pam. You don't need to buy a tractor. We, we're giving you a free one. I love I am... your mom. Pam's not watching. I love your mom. I love her, too. She's the best. Give away a beef. A whole beef? What are you... Does everybody just wants to give everything away. A beef would be good though. I, I got an idea. We give we at two hundred fifty thousand. We give somebody all of our roast. They can have all of it. <laughs> I don't want a single roast. Tammy won't like that. She likes roast. How? I want to put some onion soup mix in it so that it's going to be better. But she just keeps saying no. I don't. Know. I didn't see that one quite quick enough. But someone said Pam is like part of Antifa or something. That that's funny. That's a funny one. Roast giveaway. Yes. <laughs> that's that's what it's going to be. 250000 All of our roast. <laughs> all of the roasts in the freezer or all the roasts? That... All of the, I don't care. All the roasts. No, I don't want none of it. We're not doing that. You can't say we're giving away our roast. I just did. Yeah, but we're not. Okay. Pam is now a meme. Could be. Uh, what else? So... After we finish corn harvest, which is probably going to be in two days, today's Sunday, so on Tuesday at the end of the day, we should be done. Hope so. We're going to start doing a little fall tillage. Um, we're going to chisel some end rows just because they, they've they gotten really compacted over the last few years. And we're gonna, we got some manure to haul. I want to fertilize our corn stalks with uh, mez. And some P and K. Um, yeah. We're gonna do some fertilizing. We've we got also a got a weed fence to put in. I want to get that. Oh, uh, that's gonna suck. That's gonna be fun. We got manure to haul. We got to wean calves and uh, just kind of move move all the critters to corn so stalks. Dusty right now to wean calves, and the feedlots are so dry. And then they run around looking for their mothers, and the dust flies, and then they breathe it in. We need a rain. There, a lot of people need a rain, except the people that are in the hurricane area getting hit again by that mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i want to fertilize pam <laughs> you need to go to bed we'll go to bed then oh you guys are a good time well thank you we have fun i did notice like a thousand people left after the after they heard Pam won. Oh, come on! They're still they're just they're just here for the free tractor yeah. giveaway. There's uh, still almost three thousand people watching. Yeah, that. and uh, I I don't know if I took the time to thank everybody. Uh, you know, did you thank <laughs> Sean Lovejoy? I don't know. Why are we quitters, Sean? Without without you guys, I we couldn't have this interaction, and it's just a lot of fun. It kind of gives me. It, it makes me get out of bed a about two minutes earlier than I normally do. Just to see how many. Just so I can get the camera ready and com commented. <laughs> not to get him out to help me feed cattle for crying out loud. No, nah, it, it means a lot. And we, we definitely never envisioned this happening. If you didn't hear the story, we just kind of started with some drone video, didn't think anything of it, and then started vlogging because we were getting a few subscribers here and there and just went with it. And I've also, I did fly my drone at the time into a grain bin, and then I just kind of thought about quitting there, and my grandma and grandpa actually wrote me a check to uh, buy another drone. And then the next video I made after they bought me that drone, got it has over 400,000 views right now. And so that's what really got the channel going and got me going with it. So Thank you, Mr. B. I don't see the five dollars, but he will, and he's busy talking. So thank you. Sorry. My for some reason my chat box quit working, so I got to look over at Dad's. Oh really? Yeah. See, it's not scrolling. Well, oh my! You guys want to keep talking, or should we call it a night and watch the Vikings lose? Hopefully. <laughs> my two favorite teams. Are the Packers and whoever's playing the Vikings? Mm -hmm. I have a lot of Vikings fans. 
that are friends. Someone wants a good old Brian story. I gave you one already. Let me think of one. I got a, I got a, I got a, you know, like space them out or I'll run out and then you guys won't want to listen to me anymore. I have some bad, I mean, some off. There's stuff I can't repeat, so I just can't say. But yeah, I missed that one. I'll say. I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Jeez. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, tell yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pam asked. <laughs> Pam asked who won. Is Pam Doddridge here? <laughs> Because Pam Dodgers Did she won. actually ask who won? I really hope Pam came in because. Hi, Kelly from Florida. Kelly Gast. Yep. Comment all the time. Thank you. Is Pam Doddridge in the chat? Because you won a free tractor. And I'd like to give it to you. <laughs> Hit me up. If, I, if we give away a beef, will there be bacon? No. <laughs> There's no bacon in a beef. <laughs> I think uh, you guys. Bam. Oh, my gosh. People need to chill a little bit. Is Pam dead? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Do you have any? Yeah. Did I ever tell you about the time Pam won a tractor? <laughs> Oh, shoot. Hey, if any of you are friends with Pam Doddridge, please tell her there's a tractor in our shed and she needs to get it out. Or we got to make some room. Or don't tell her. And then a month from now, you can have a chance of winning it. Pam is currently in, in jail. jail. Rest in peace. Dan, Pam. thank you. What's worth more, that tractor or a slappy? Good question. You can't chase cattle with tractor. Well, you can. Well, that's Ed, not frowned upon. You know, it's frowned upon. If the wheel falls off and it gets totaled, the slappy's probably more worth more than the tractor. Honda man didn't get a thank you. I'm sorry, my chat box isn't working at all. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Cody from Stickney, South Dakota. Someone said they'd like to buy our Bobcat. I think We're somebody just that. said that Pam's on a Grateful Dead tour. Someone also <laughs> said Pam is in jail. I hope not because they can't. you can't take a tractor to jail. And she won a tractor, and it's in our shed, and she needs to get it out. Thanks, Brent Archer. Thank you, Brent. Er, my gird, Pam. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's funny, but it oh, is. Oh, man. I've never seen that screen. Someone so said fast. Pam said they could store it. People see keep saying Pam come Pam Doddridge. Hey, Marcus, thank you, Dude, Dan, Pam's up. here. Did you see that? Yep, yeah. Pam. Oh, wait, no, daughter. Pam. Wait a second. What's going on here? I'm confused. Did now. you spell it wrong? Or no, I think that one's spelled. No, that one. Okay, so that person's. No. Okay, so you see that one's Pam Doddard G. That's that's spelled different. Are you sure? No, I'm I'm 100 percent sure. Well, I got a screenshot here. No, see, Pam oh, somebody, even has Do you suppose somebody made up a new name? I would something? assume so. But okay. this Pam has like a show the spelling again since Pam so Pam. So this is the winner. Ridge, not Ergi or however. Pam's not here. I got really excited. Fake Pam. fake Pam. Pam 2020. That was a fake Pam, I think. Pam died from code COVID. My name is Pam. <laughs> well, your name is spelled <laughs> yeah. wrong. It's not the same. It is a fake Pam. What did Ross say? One sec. Cancel Pam. <laughs> oh, catfish Pam. Fake Pam. Oh, fake Pam. Get out of here. You're not the real Pam. Get out. Nobody wants you. You didn't win a trash. I honestly thought that was the real Pam, and I was really excited. Mm. What's the corn testing? Um, 
Thir- test weight, 13 I don't know. and a half, 14 mostly. The mo- yeah, the moisture is dry. We've, we yeah. haven't had a significant rain in about four weeks. We haven't taken any to town to get a test weight on it, but uh, we're storing everything at home so far. But it is dry. It is really dry. Thank you, QAAD, from all of us Cod. country folk. Cod? I don't know. If you know Pam Doddridge and you have her cell phone number, please text her and tell her that she won a free tractor. I'm really disappointed. Will the real Pam please stand up? Marcus. Marcus, thank you a bunch. People are commenting really fast. Yeah. She just commented. I don't. I think it's a Shelly Piper, my old friend, used to live in Mount Vernon. Uh, that was a different spelling than the Pam. The, yeah, also Pam's uh, YouTube channel has a icon, and so I'm um, seeing you fake Pam's it, out here. It says Pam Doddridge is on chat. Yeah, attention. but they didn't have the uh, the little icon, so it's a fake Pam. Fake Pam took your job. She did. She sure did. Hmm. Oh. Huh. Anyway, Pam, send me an email. <laughs> Hit me up. Oh, my God. Spencer Frost. I think I know that name. I think he was in Robbie's class in high school. <clears throat> okay. Um. Anyway, how's how's your guys' day going? <laughs> we put in some fence, some uh, railroad ties. And you know, you know how it is sometimes when you go to grease the combine and every stinking greaser is facing the wrong way? Oh, my gosh. And then the best ones are when you gotta crawl underneath and you look up and then just some of the fluffiest jazz falls right into your eyes. Yeah, and it was real windy today. And then you and then rub. I just got the thing turned and I was l- climbing on top of the rear wheel and my family decides to do a group snap uh, snap call or something. Snap FaceTime call phone, and Snapchat. Boy. And then it's getting your eyes and you rub them. But there's grease on your hand. Now there's grease in your eyes. <laughs> Somebody said my mom said bacon comes from cows. Well, I'm not going to argue with what your mom said. So, Barry, congratulations on beating your brother at golf. Yeah, it must have been a good day. I once golfed once. I think I had more brewskis than I hit the ball. I missed a lot more than I'm horrible at, at mm-hmm. golf. It's not, it's not my strong suit. Having a good baseball swing does not transfer over to a good golf swing so my my college buddy he says tell the story about the toilet at the airbnb in louisville kentucky all right so we just got to louisville kentucky like two days prior and we were coming back from the farm show and one of my buddies you know he's he's like i gotta go to the bathroom so he he goes to the bathroom and just puts an absolute tree in there and he's flushing it's not going down and I'm getting ready to take a nap because we had drove 14 hours straight like recently. And so we were all tired. And so I go to bed to the sound of him plunging this toilet. And when I wake up two hours later, you know what I can hear? Him still plunging this <laughs> toilet. And I'm like, holy, holy crap. Has he been plunging the toilet the whole time? And so we, we're flushing it. And he's taking all of their nice white towels and putting them around the floor. Thanks, the poop, Cassidy. Because the poop water is coming everywhere. And it's just not working. And so we go to the local store and we buy a snake. And anyway, whatever, we finally get it unclogged. Somebody just said, Cole, he wasn't plunging a toilet, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are nuts. Anyway, anyway nuts. so we're headed home and I get a message from the Airbnb, <laughs> Airbnb people. And they say, Cole. What happened in the bathroom? And I said, my buddy clogged the toilet too much of the buffet, which they probably didn't enjoy because the snake had scratched the toilet and then, you know, the the water, the ceramic, and then the water was everywhere. They said the water had drained down into the basement from Mm. the toilet. And Mm. so we we said, you know, what happened? And uh, they they didn't press charges or nothing (laughs) or whatever. And not yet, but now maybe. And so that's the, the story of my buddy clogging the toilet at an Airbnb mm-hmm. in Louisville, Kentucky. So when I was in high school and we were getting ready 
to uh, we were warming up before a football game. In Woonsocket, they used to use number nine wire to keep the fans off the football field. Number nine wire. There she is. Hey, Cole, Pam says. Is that the right one? Oh, it looks like Ridge. Yeah, that one. I don't know if that's the real Pam Doddridge. The other one was spelled different. Yeah, but is that that is that the same logo or this? Oh, there's a logo. Yeah, is that the same? It kind of looks like it. Pam Doddridge, is that the real you? <laughs> so anyway, back to my football story. Just one one sec. If that if you're the real Pam Doddridge, you won the free tractor. Somebody else spelled it differently. I just don't know if it's the real. I, I think it is. I feel like that is the real Pam Doddridge, but, you know, I won. Yeah. I mean, if you're the real Pam Doddridge, you won the free tractor giveaway. So please find my email in the about section. Hit me up. Say, yo, I'm Pam Doddridge. Tell me where you're from because that'll be the that'll that'll be how I know. Anyway, this, this is the whole reason we're here. The free track giveaway. Pam Doddridge, no, send me an email. I think, I think there's a fair amount of people who want to hear my football story. Okay, sorry. sorry. So we're warming up before the football game. We're doing a little five and outs, you know, and catching the ball. And my buddy Neil went too far out. And out of the corner of my eye, I just saw him get decleated. And he hit that number nine wire about chest high right as he caught the ball. And, man, it dumped him. That was probably the hardest hit he ever had in high school. That's my story. I see. I see. That's how I roll. Pam Doddridge, send me an email. <laughs> Do you want a free tractor? I, I just, I don't know. Good night. Somebody said they're going oh. to bed. Does Pam? Wow, great one, Dad. I feel like that's sarcasm. Not my best story, but, you know, you put me on a spot like this, I don't have time to think about it. You know, I got to do a little planning sometimes. I just can't whip one out whenever well, I can whip tell, one out. I can, it's just not that funny sometimes. So. Tell about the time when you took Robbie and Jacob to the park for, like, the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I? I don't, I, tell that one I don't know. I just tell it again. Uh, we, so after Sunday school one time, the whole Sunday school class went to the park in Mitchell. And I swear, my boys, they act like they'd never been off the farm before in their lives. They go out there, and there's a little place you can drink out of a lion's head, you know, and they go running it's out a, there. It's a fountain. It's a fountain. with It looks like a lion. It's fun for kids. They're kind of taking off running over that way. Robbie's probably five and Jacob's four. And, and all of a sudden I see their pants are down to their below the, down to their ankles and they're out in the middle of that part taking a leak. Just like a couple country bumpkins. So Pam. I I see yep, she's yep. Here. okay. So Pam, <laughs> if you go to my channel. And then towards the right, there's the about section. It just says about. So you click on that. You scroll down. And then it says for business inquiries, view email. So you click on that. And then you got to click on a little box that says I'm not a robot. And then, bam, my email will pop up. Patty Bueno always comments, and she's always fun to read her comments. And she said her son did the same thing at a park. I agree, Jared. Thanks, Dave. I'm going to, I'm going to. Pam says she found it. Man, I hope you're the real Pam Doddridge because we got to make some room in our shed. Yeah, Ashton Bell, you can have a shout out. Sass Dutch kid, your old buddy, gave you $6.99. Just finished milking cows. How did that go? You should say hey, thank you. Though. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Ha, are you good? Like, have you ever, like, manually milked a cow? I, I'm just curious. Cole's not very good at that. I always have to do it. Well, especially when they get old. 
That's their, when it's better. Their bag gets really hairy. <laughs> and, then, and then it's just really hard to squeeze. And I just feel like I'm yanking on hairs and I feel bad. Yeah, I'm just horrible. I'm really bad at milking cows. And then I'm also worried they're going to kick me in the head. So that's just, that's how, that's what I got to say about that. No, you cannot have my truck. What is the name of the black dog? What was it? Black dog? Over at, at the South Place. Oh, I think his name is Colt. 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 Yeah. It's yeah. a friendly dog. Yeah. Does Cole have a girlfriend? No, not at all. Someone asked, does Cole or Brian have more chest hair? Hmm. That uh, <laughs> that would be a close call. Yeah, it's... yeah. I can say that his is darker than mine. <laughs> Mine's kind of turning gray. I'm like an old. Uh, I'm like an old mare. I'm gonna. Or, Probably not a mirror. Just just checking my email, seeing if Pam hit me up. No. Pam, send me an email. I got a free tractor for you. Who won? Somebody said. <laughs> Pam Doddridge won. The winner is Pam Doddridge. I hope we're not losing you guys. We're running out of he already said Pam's from Washington State, so they asked if Pam was – what if she's international? She's not. No, she's she's from the States. Damn, Pam won. But the real question is it Pam Thanks, or Colton. Pan? Pam. She said she found it, cool. Good. Uh, well, can we call it a night? Yeah, unless anyone. We've been on for an hour. Yeah. We're, what do uh, you got in the cup? Uh, Diet Dr. Pepper and ice and some, and a little something, something that I like to call Captain Morgan. Captain? Yep. Yep. Are you Dutch? No. We are Danish. My grandfather came here from Danishville. Denmark? Yeah, that's the one. There's an island called Bornholm that's off from the main part of Denmark. That's where we are from. I've never been there. But thanks, Christopher Hoffman. Would you try a pellet? Uh, probably not. Who did? Well, Ron did. Yeah, Ron Hart, or not Hartung, but Ron from Hartung Farms. Roder tried one. He said it tasted corny. So and the sugar is removed or something. He said it's it, yeah, bland. Bland. Cattle love him. Yeah. What is your corn yielding? Uh, the highest we've seen it hit two fifty three or something. Yeah, and then the lowest is zero. So. We're kind of in that. Mostly averaging 170, 180, I'd say. Um, haven't really figured it, but it's kind of what I'm seeing average wise out in these fields. So, thank you, Sam. It is a nice. Do you field. bleed green or blue? I personally bleed red. I what green and yellow, <laughs> Packer. Andy. Andy says, how long have you been with Wiffles? This was our second year of planting Wiffles hybrids. Oh, yeah. Boy, has that been good this year. Well, first off, last year we had bad green snap, and the Wiffles stood way better than anything else I had. It really did. And then uh, this year, it's doing fantastic. That fa – and a family-owned company, it's not a – you know, it's not owned by the Chinese or some foreign company. I I personally know a couple of these Wiffles, and and uh, actually, I I text Bill Wiffles every once in a while. He's retired now. Nice family. They do a great job with their product, and they treat people right. And I am a real believer in Wiffles. You'll watch any hockey. I do not play wiffle ball. 
<laughs> I think that's different than wiffle seed corn. I uh, I never got into hockey, uh, especially well, – I'm from a small-town school, and they just don't really have those kind of extracurriculars. So we never watched that. And honestly, we're pretty busy, so we don't get much time to watch. <laughs> what? I had the wiffles once, he said. Moto, <laughs> Yona, I think. Uh, Christy Goodman, you sure can have a shout-out. Someone said, who won? Pam Doddridge won. <laughs> She's the winner. I feel like you've done that more than once already. Well, people keep asking. and Well, they're goofing around. So, Why did I start farming? Framing? I... That's all I could think of when I was getting out of high school. I didn't even want to go off to school. Parents kind of told me I had to. Then I got done with school, and they kind of said, go get a job. So I did it for like 14 months, just long enough to get them off my back so they could come home and farm, which is all I ever wanted to do. Yep, and now I get to farm with my son, which is the greatest thing ever. It can also be the worst some days. <laughs> for you, maybe, not for me, man. Uh, someone asked what my social security number is. Um, it's 236. <laughs> That's our phone number. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we can call it a night. Yeah, so I'm, running out of, I'm running out of stuff. You didn't really have that much to start with. No. Um. I do want to say that yeah, Pam, the Seahawks and the Vikings are playing. Ooh, Minnesota's up thirteen nothing. Ooh, Pam Doddridge won the free tractor giveaway. Elijah said he's from Woonsocket, and then somebody else keeps saying, "We know Elijah. We know." <laughs> hey, Dad actually went to high school in Woonsocket, South Dakota. And Cole went to Mount Vernon. Yeah. And my dad went to Letcher, and it's just one of those things where we're kind of. And people three miles west of here go to Plankington. We're kind of in that, out in the middle of, uh, kind of like the Four Corners, you know, except it's four little towns instead of four states. Hey, and if you guys like farming content and you're interested in more, my buddy, my good buddy from Wagner Family Farms right here, he's got a YouTube channel. He's just starting out. And he's got a he's got ten videos or so, and so he's just starting out. He his last video was about soybean harvest, and he was with his dad, and they were they were uh, obviously combining some uh, what was it corn? No, it was, no, that's corn. Yeah, and so he's been here a couple times. Yep, 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 yep. So Here's, check him out if you're. Somebody do that. No, that's an old one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so check out Wagner Family Farms if you're interested in some more uh, content that includes farming. You know, I think a whole lot of people had a lot of fun tonight just looking at the comments or goofing off and it's all kind of all in fun and that's what I liked. This one guy keeps saying, do fish get thirsty? I don't know, I ain't a fish, but maybe. Huh. I don't know. Do you have a girlfriend? No. I live with my parents. I don't have a real job. Well, at least you're in a van down by the river. In a van in the, down by the river. You're in the basement. We keep them down in the basement. I live in the basement. It gets chilly down there. <laughs> I think my parents leave me down there just so I check the sump pump from time to time, make sure yeah. it's not overflowing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's rough. <laughs> What's your biggest buck? For me, I shot a smaller 5x5. Five five. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, my. Let's, oh, I, thought, I don't think that. I think they want to see how long they can keep us online. Here. I mean. Is Joe Biden in the chat? No, I haven't seen him. When are you switching to case? Uh, when hell freezes over. <laughs> That's when we're switching the case. Actually, we dad bought a case tractor ten years ago. Uh, something like that. And yeah. and uh, they honestly didn't like it that much. What what was going on with it? it the ride wasn't good. 
Yeah. Just wasn't for us. We're kind of – we bleed green. But uh, at the same time – Probably because I like the Packers. So I like John Deere too. I don't know. I, I like – everybody's got their own favorites. Mm-hmm. All I know, growing up, we had a lot of red stuff. And I just – the way that John Deere puts things together when you go to take something off or work on it, it's kind of planned out so you don't have to take off all this stuff to get at what you're working on. That's what I noticed. I think the engineers do a better job with it. My opinion. Case has better return on investment. I do not agree with that. Um, you take a 1978 1086 or a 1978 4440, and there's about a 4440 will bring about 20,000, and a 1086 will bring about 8,000. That's the way it is. So. It says here you do a killer Trump impression. I thought that was pretty I, – I mean, I was proud of myself, but it wasn't very great. Mm. Um, I do a pretty good Ronald Reagan impression. Ronald Reagan? Yeah. You ever hear of him? He was like the third president. Or do you mean Bill Clinton? Yeah, I did that one too, but, yeah, I've done both. What's your favorite well, tractor on the farm? Mine has changed. It used to be the 7530. But I traded that off for that eighty two eighty five R, and that is my favorite tractor. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good tractor. Uh, I mean, I I like the seventy five twenty. The ride is poor. It's not this. It's not the greatest ride, but I it's just wider. I I just feel like I can fly around with that thing. It's agile. It's wider. Someone asked, "Is Ellie deceased?" Dead. No, she's she in the garage. She's taking a nap in the garage. We'd bring her in here, but she gets real scared. In the For house. some reason, she doesn't want to come in the house. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Christopher, Chris. when is Hank season? I love bailing videos. Uh, so- next May. May. Yeah, unless we May. decide to bail some corn. If we decide to bail corn stalks, I suppose we should video it. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't think we're going to do it, but we might. Did you? Huh? No, huh? I didn't. I did not. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> For the love of everything. Do a Biden impression. Um, no, nah, I don't want to get into it. Okay, I got one. Um, hi, I'm Joe Biden's wife. He did that once. <laughs> Corn stocks make great bedding. They really do. We we actually outside better than inside. I think because it's. It kind of can you, holds them up out of the mud. Someone asked, can you feed corn stalks? That's a good question. Yep. In years where it's really droughty and we didn't put up much hay and yep. we just don't have much feed, we will make a bunch of corn stalk bales and, and we'll put those in just to get us through the winter. Yeah, so instead of like uh, for six, six weight calves, say, instead of having two grass hay bales for every alfalfa bale, we would do like one-sixth. Uh, corn stock bales, and then uh, three sixth, you know, grass hay, which makes four six, which is your two thirds, and then and then two six alfalfa, which would be two. So, so it, one out of every six bales would be corn stocks the way we do it. Yeah, so that took way too long. So you to can feed corn stocks, um, but back to the. Do we use it as bedding? We, we're still sitting on a good amount of soybean stubble that we're planning on using. Plus, we got some millet. Plus, we got some millet left over. So we're going to try to yep. get through get through those. And then if, if we got time, we're going to make some corn sack bales this year. But just if we have time. Is it raining? I really hope it's raining. I'm going to go see if it's raining. Okay. Get a forty twenty. I've been looking. I've been thinking. We got about, sprinkles. I've. I do have a forty ten. I don't know if you've seen that. It needs a little work on it. It's actually pretty straight. Um. Can you give away an X nine? No. <laughs> no, we cannot. No. What? I missed it. Keep going down. <laughs> Uh, 
That's horrible. Should we quit? You people are dirty. <laughs> You're nasty. Ellie lives. Ellie's a lot. Why did why yeah. why do people think you know also since since I have you here? Stop. Stop. Oh, thanks, Cassidy. Thanks, Cassidy. Do you guys go to Kaler, South Dakota? I don't know if I've ever been there before. They make something in Kaler. What is it like? I hear I think of Kaler Grain. Is there like an elevator? Oh yeah, there? yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, I wanna Bye Wade. Thanks for hanging. <laughs> Let's uh somebody wants to know who won. Oh, who won? Pam Doddridge won. <laughs> the people keep asking, no, I'm not dating Claudia. She just came out to make a video. And she uh, is obviously at college right now, and it's, it was only like a four-hour drive for her. And so, you know, she, they're also a farm channel, and so she kind of needed or wanted some farm content. And so it worked out great for us. It gave us both some exposure. And so that is why Claudia, Claudia came out just to make some videos. Redneck stuff. Hi. Howdy. All right. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, I suppose. All right. Also, what I was going to say. Thanks, Christopher. Christopher Hoffman. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you a lot, Christopher. If you want to stay more up to date, up to date, dated, I'm an idiot. Anyway, if you want to stay more up to date with what's going on, we both have Instagram accounts if you want to check them out. Mine's Sunny Farms. His is Sunny Farms Dad. He puts some weird stuff on there. So go, go, go check that out. Hmm. Please don't leave. Okay. We'll stay here all night. Yeah. Yeah. Go live once a month. We could a couple times this winter, especially before Kevin, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Is Pam in chat? I haven't seen Pam comment for a while, and I still haven't. I don't. I didn't see an email, but maybe I have one. Hi, Dusty. Don't hate on Brian's Insta. <laughs> yeah. You missed Pam. Yeah, I'm a soft. I have feelings. I have feelings, people. Feelings. Yeah. Give Ellie away. That ain't happening. Mm -mm. Nope. We'd like to. <laughs> Pam is Claudia's no, mother. She's not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who won the tractor? <laughs> Pam Doddridge won the tractor. We're getting repetitive. All right. Um, I guess that'll be it. An hour 12, that's long enough. I hope you all had a good night, enjoyed yourself. Uh, just remember Pam Doddridge won the tractor, and I really hope we can get that to her. How did the preg check go? So we we uh, turned bulls in with 70 heifers. What? <laughs> we just keep going. Yeah. We turned the bulls in with 70 heifers. We had them in uh, two different groups, and so we're trying uh, some bulls from last year, some uh, magnitudes that work pretty good, and then the other ones are uh, black um, hawk, black hawk. And so we're going to see how they do in comparison to each other. We had 64 bred out of the 70. So and, six were open. Uh, yep, and then... Um, so about 52 of them are all bred in the first cycle. So that was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And then like 10 in the second cycle and two in the third. So really a nice grouped up bunch. We're going to be really getting a ton of heifers, Kevin. Uh, they'll start February 10th. Mm -hmm. so. A small 90 acre farm. Sorry, I missed your first super chat. What if Pam doesn't reach out to you? She has a month to hit us up. And after that, once a month is over, November 11th, we will probably do another live, I guess, and give it away again if she doesn't yeah. claim it. Yeah. And then what was that? He also gave you a donation. There. Yeah. Thank you, Wyatt. And message also retracted. All right. Um, sprinkling. Yeah, it's sprinkling. We really need a rain. And hopefully, there's. Who made the drinks tonight? Cole did. Yep, he made one for him and one for me. Look at this. We got like a 50% chance of rain. 
All right. It's better than nothing. Keep it. Oh, they're trying to do a filibuster to keep it going. All right. Butchered it. All right. Can you show Ellie? Can you take the computer out and show her? Oh, could can I you carry, can I that carry her in here? No, she won't like that. Can you take it out there? Uh, we'll skip it. We'll no, skip do that. It. Do it. We'll skip that. Do it. No. No. All right. <laughs> See, some, I just. You just won't do what I say sometimes. Guys, quit talking about Claudia. I I said she just came out. We both make YouTube videos. We made some YouTube videos. She's a freshman in college. She's like She's 18, 18 years. Also, since we're on the subject of age, today's the 11th. My birthday is the 20th hmm. of October. So uh, You're not wanting the day off that so day, So there's you? that. No. Oh, good. Good, good. I well, bet you. I bet you. We Brian's can do some thinking, good oh, work. Crap, his we, birthday's coming up. We could do. We could like haul manure on the twentieth and all day. I don't care. You, I thought you hated that. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta do what you gotta do. I sound like Garfield. Well, who do you think did the voiceovers for Garfield? <laughs> Duh. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, we gotta. Go. Wait. You guys have been. Oh, check it out. In the meanwhile. Oh. The Seahawks have pulled ahead of yeah, the Vikings. The Vikings are losing for now. Anyway, yeah, we're um, gonna we're gonna scoot. You guys have been a lot of fun tonight. We've had a lot of laughs, and we'll try to bring some laughs back to you three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, at what time? Monday and Wednesday at two p.m. Central, and, and then then Saturdays Saturday at eight thirty a.m. Central. Central. So right. thanks for hanging out. We will. Thanks, Deb. She's always so nice, and she says she loves us. So so that means tomorrow. I told you to stay in the truck. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central, there's a video coming out. Just cracked open a, a beer. Cheers, guys. Sass Dutch Kid, thank you. What's his name? Jan. Yen. Is it Yen? Am I saying that right? I think it's Yen. It's Dutch. How far are they from us? Uh, I would assume. Are they from Saskatoon? Uh, so Saskatchewan. I assume a good thousand. Somewhere miles. A thousand miles. Okay. Give away toilet paper? Not on your life, fella. No. Nah. <laughs> We're hoarding all the toilet papers. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Have a good one. End.